Hi guys, welcome back. You may have realized that I've bought a Raspberry Pi without any casing at all. The reason why is because I bought a special casing that's in this box. So I'm going to share with you guys what's inside. It's the Dark Paw, an open source robot from Adip. I got it a while back, but I have not opened it. I'm gonna unseal it and open it at, and know what's inside same time as you guys. Let's see. Here's a knife. And let's see what's inside. So there's a lot of stuff. This thank you card from Adip. Warranty card. Print maintenance. Three months per PCB. I got some motors. Servo motors. Micro servo motors to be exact. So I would assume I have at least six of them. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, that's four. That's six. Five, seven. One, five, seven. Eight. Okay. That's more than I expected to be. Certain. Can you give me the safe? Okay, this is weird. I have, let's see, let's have them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 servos. So, 13 servos for a uh, Maybe it's right? Uh, okay, and this. I would assume it's the open source electronics. I had deep. I would assume this would be the hat of the robot. Oh, I didn't want to break the box. This kind of sucks. Well, I assume this is the hat. It is. It's supposed to fit right on top of the Raspberry Pi. I would assume like this. You see? And on top would be... Oh, it was upside down. Go here like this, and these would be the ports for the servo motors. Maybe you open it up. Turn it all the way to here. Knife. This would go on top of the pipe like this. There's some instructions on how to, to install it. I'm gonna install it probably later. And what else do we have? Battery pack casing. So one of these. this this must be the raspberry pi camera let's open it the Raspberry Pi camera. So technically, this new casing would also be a new uh, webcam as well. These are the LED lights. With the wirings, two LED lights. And one giant LED light here. That must be the front light here. You 
something I completely missed. This, I would assume, is the six axis inertial sensor that's used to help the robot stabilize. I'm not gonna open now because it looks really delicate. I have no idea what this is for. Oh, these are the um, acrylic parts. I guess they cut it out and then I'll need to pop them out one by one. That one makes sense. It'll be easier to transport. One wire. I'm running out of space. This is wrapping for the wires. Two screwdrivers. One flathead and one uh, Phillips. Or cross. Depends on whatever, which one you're used to. And a small screwdriver of a cross. Some kind of hexagon wrench. Not sure what this is for though. Oh, why would we need this? Usually. <clears throat> Usually use those for bikes. Ribbon. Probably just get plates out. More acrylic plates. This is going to be fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun assembling this robot and see what we could do and play with it. If you see, look closely. There's these cuttings on these uh, acrylic plates, so I'm going to pop it, be popping them out and using them. There's also one more down here with more pieces. Hmm. Let's see if I can figure out what this is for. I think this is for one of the legs or the top of the of the of the robot. And let's see. There's also this little packing here. Inside, there's minor nuts and bolts. Okay, this is what the wrench is for. This is standoff. There's no instructions, so I would assume I'll need to go to their website to find and follow their instructions online in order to know what, how to assemble it. This is some kind of spacer. Ball bearings. Oh, bearings. So there's spacers for the robot, some nuts, uh, column, a uh, nylon column, screws. I would assume these are just these minor parts for the servos and assembling the the robot together. That's cool. Some more nuts and bolts. Yeah, we're gonna have a really great time filming this. Right. I'm just gonna put this back in. Just to just gonna call this, tap it all in. When you buy this, a deep dark paw robot for your Raspberry Pi, you get 13 servos, one hat for the controlling the servos, one Raspberry Pi camera, one. Um, battery hoist with no batteries. You'll need to buy them separately, which I did here. Two small LED lights, one giant LED light, some, I don't know which wire, what is this wire for, but we'll find out soon. Some wrapping for the servo wires, I would assume. Three screwdrivers, one big, uh, one small, and two big. A wrench. Some cutouts on some acrylic plates, so you could for the robotic parts. 
and some hardware or a bag of hardware of all the necessary parts to assemble it together. And that's it for now. See you guys later.